Hello everyone and welcome. This is Allison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me for my live crafting show. I'm a day late, but not really. Um, last night, which is when I usually do my live show, so Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., I had to take our sweet dog Olivia across the city and so I had to postpone till tonight, but I did let you know. Um, so I'm glad that I'm back tonight for a crafty video. Oh my goodness. There is a beautiful card I'm going to share with you today. And we're talking about techniques. So how to add dimension to your stamped images. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do this. So you can get like a different look from your stamps. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. We're gonna have a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I'm just excited to share it with you. So a couple of things before we get started. I know you'll probably ask about my shirt. So I always get asked, yes, I have these shirts for sale. I have the sweatshirt, t-shirt and tote bags. They're super cute, but they are currently on pre-order, but only until September 30th, okay? So the pre-order ends September 30th, then production will begin and they will be shipped out. And then this design goes into the vault, my friends. So make sure if you want this one that you put your order in or your pre-order, I should say. I don't have them in stock, um, but they are, they're so fun. I've absolutely loved designing this. I designed it back in like the summertime, I think it was, and I've been wearing it and loving it. And I had so many people ask. And so I sorted out all the details and yes, they're now available for pre-order. So make sure you click the link in the video description if you'd like to check those out. So we're going to stamp. I'm ready to get right down into it. I love today's project. We're using the decorated with happiness bundle. And so we're doing Christmas and yeah, a couple of techniques. It's going to be a good time. So let's get into stamping. I am going to clear a spot on my desk, turn the camera down and we're going to get into it. All right. So let's get y'all set up here so you can see my desk. Just a quick adjustment. All right. So there's our decorated with happiness stamp set. Let's get you a little bit better angle here. Okay. And then I also have da -da, the dies. So beautiful. Let's see. Sorry about this. There we go. I think that's a little better. All right. Have to tell me what you think about the angle. I think we're pretty good. All right. So decorated with happiness. This is such a great bundle. We've got this beautiful stamp set with our ornaments and I love the pine here. I just think that's so great. And then it also has these fun like watercolor washes. I think there's a lot of great stuff here plus sentiments. So like there's a lot of good happening here. And then we've got of course our dies. So we have dies that cut out our stamped images but we also have dies that cut out additional images. So that's really fun. We've got this really detailed pine die and we also have these fun like bells and different ornaments that are just standalone dies, which I love too. So we've got some fun things to play with with this bundle. All right. Hello, Pam. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. Make sure you say hi when you get here. I love to know where you're tuning in from. And don't forget to leave me a little love in the comments, a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you want to catch more of my crafty videos. All right, let's get into our project today. I said we're going to talk about adding dimension to our stamped images. So let's start off with way number one. Okay. So I have a piece of my uh, basic white cardstock. And you'll notice in this stamp set, let me bring it back in, that there are these watercolor wash stamps and they pair really well with our ornament stamps. So let me show you way number one, we are going to add some dimension. I've just got a bit of scrap paper here, a small piece of grid paper. I'm using my pool party ink pad. There we go. And let's stamp one of these beautiful ornaments. So ink up our stamp with our pool party and we'll stamp it down. 
Okay, so that is a beautiful stamp, but we can make it fancier and add some dimension with one of those watercolor wash stamps. But I don't want to stamp it like at the full strength of ink. What I'm going to do is ink it up, stamp it off, and stamp it onto my ornament. And there you have a really fun way to add some dimension that's worked right into this stamp set. So this is one of those stamp sets that really makes it easy on us. Okay, so I'm going to do another ornament. I want to do this one in polished pink. So I've got this beautiful stamp. There we go. And then I'm going to add that watercolor wash. Okay, so ink it up stamp it off and stamp on that watercolor wash. Great way to add some dimension. I have two more techniques coming, so don't you wait. Okay, so that is way number one. Now let's talk about a background. We wanna make a beautiful background for our project. And when I'm doing that, I'm gonna add some dimension to our stamps again. So let's grab a new piece of our small grid paper and another piece of our basic white cardstock. So this piece is five and a quarter by four inches. Okay. So I want to start by creating a base for some stamped images. And what I want to do is I want to do some blending or sponging or, well, it's not really sponging because this is a blending brush it has all these little, um, bristles. It's not a sponge. So I'm going to add some color into this before we do some stamping. So this is my pool party ink. Once again, we're going to pick up some ink onto our blending brush. Always start off your cardstock. So you can see I'm starting on my scratch paper and then I'm just going to use these circular motions to go onto my paper. Oh, it looks like I had a greasy fingerprint or something on my paper. It's okay, that part's getting covered up, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but normally you wouldn't see that um, splotch there. I must have had something on my finger when I was cutting it or on my trimmer or something. All right, so we're just adding in our pool party ink. Isn't this so beautiful? I love how this looks. There we go, we'll keep going around. We're just gonna go around the outside edge of this card, or this card stock, I should say. So this decorated with happiness bundle, so this, you know, these cute ornaments and the pine and everything that I'm using tonight, you can find it and everything else in my Canadian online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. However, Right now, I have a online class featuring the Decorated with Happiness Bundle. So in my online classes, you get to make six card projects absolutely free. You just pay to purchase the bundle and I have it, um, the bundle plus shipping and tax, okay? And then I send to you the supplies to make six projects as well as a full video tutorial, full length, each card from start to finish, and you can stamp along with me anytime that works for you. So you don't have to be online at a certain time. I email out the video. So you can do it, you know, Friday night in your PJs or whatever works for you, okay? So I can ship my online classes anywhere in Canada, and this class is just so fun. If you love today's card, you're gonna love the online class because it's very much the same feel, okay? So if you love today's card and you live in Canada, I highly suggest you join me for the Decorated with Happiness online class. And that information is also in the video description. All right, so I think that's looking pretty good. I obviously, as you can see, I'm avoiding the center and it's not because I don't want ink there. It's just because I don't need it. Something else is going to go in the center. So I don't need to spend my time sponging the center or blending the center, I should say. All right, so there we go. Sorry about my little mark there, but it's getting covered up, so don't worry. So we have like this beautiful base now, this beautiful sort of light and airy, blue, well, pool party, blue. Oh, 
Am I even a Stampin' Up! demonstrator if I call it just blue? No, you have to use the name, right? Oh my goodness, so I'll, get, I'll get fired. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I won't actually get fired. So now I'm gonna show you technique number two to add dimension to your stamps. So I have two different greens here. I have Granny Apple Green and Shaded Spruce. And I'm gonna show you how you can stamp with two colors so it makes this beautiful um, multi-tonal look to your stamp that of course, what does it do? It adds dimension. Okay, so let's bring in a sponge dauber as well. That is going to help in my pursuit today. So these just fit on your finger and it has a little sponge end. So first I'm gonna take my Granny Apple Green ink Okay, and I'm going to ink up my beautiful pine stamp. And I don't need the whole stem, so I just haven't bothered to ink it. Then I'm gonna pick up some of my shaded spruce with a sponge dauber, and I'm just gonna add it to areas of my stamp. So you get this beautiful two-toned stamped image, and it's really pretty. So let's add this in. Just gonna kind of go up that side of our card there and you can see hopefully you can see it in the camera that now my stamped image isn't just one color it's two so I have another little pine stamp that I kind of want to just add beside so again I go in granny apple green first and then I add my shaded spruce and I can just stamp that down Oh, I love those two-tone stamped images. Such dimension, my friends. Okay, I wanna do some more down in the other corner. I do wanna wash my stamp before I carry on because I don't want my dark shaded spruce ink to get into my Granny Apple Green ink pad. So I just have my stamp and scrub with my mist. So there's, um, I spray on one side and clean up my stamp and then kinda just dry it on the other side. Okay, so I'll do that with that big pine and the little one too, okay? It's a little bit of ink, but it's just on the block, so it's not a big deal. So we're gonna do that same thing again over in this corner. So we'll ink up with our Granny Apple Green. So you always wanna go into your lightest color first. So even if you're doing like pinks or reds or blues, you always wanna go into your light color and then use your sponge dauber for the darker color. Okay, you don't wanna do that the other way around or when you go to do your sponge daubing, um, you'll get dark ink into your light ink pad, okay? Because of course, the, there's residual ink on here that's both granny apple green and shaded spruce. Okay, so there we go, gorgeous. And then we'll do our little one here. And I'm not um, super fussed over, you know, perfect placement of uh, pine needle colors, like it doesn't matter to me. I just want dual tone for that extra dimension. And I really hope the camera is picking up those two different colors. All right, so those are two ways to add some dimension. And we're not done yet. I have one more technique, but I need to do some other parts of this card before I get into the third one. You'll have to tell me what you think of our pieces so far. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, so I'm bringing back in my pool party ink and I wanna add some more to our background. I wanna make it a little fancier. So again, in that same stamp set decorated with happiness, I have these cute little like snowflake clusters. So I'm gonna add a few of those in. So I'm just gonna go kind of over here and over here, maybe kind of down in here and up there. And then I have just this little tiny cluster where I can kind of just add a little bit of something extra. Okay, so that is going to be the background of our card. We've got our beautiful snowflakes, our two-toned pine imagery, our sponging or blending of the pool party ink. I just think that is such a great backdrop for the rest of this card. 
So let's go and turn our attention to the next things I need to do for this beautiful card. So we need to do technique number three to add dimension to our stamped images. So this time I'm bringing in a piece of my basic black cardstock and I'm going to do some heat embossing. This is a great way to add dimension because it truly adds like um, texture. So when you heat emboss something and I'm going to do my sentiment, it actually is a raised feeling. So let me show you what I mean. I've got my Versamark ink pad and I've got my sentiment that says Christmas greetings. And I'm just going to stamp it onto my black. Okay. And then I'll dip it into my white embossing powder. Okay. So I just want to shake off the excess and I, I don't want to do that over my table because I don't want to get embossing powder all over my table. That's one of those things that every crafter or every person really, I think has like those little tiny annoyances or things that they find annoying. And to me, the feeling of embossing powder on my table, like that dusty feeling, it drives me bonkers. So I like to um, kind of brush any away over the floor. It doesn't bother me as much because I don't know. I don't like the feeling of it on my table. So one of my little quirks, we shall say. Okay, so now hopefully you can see that it's a powder. Okay, and then I take my heat tool and heat it up. And that powder is going to turn into a raised, glossy sentiment. So truly is adding dimension because it's raised up right off the cardstock. And I think white embossing powder on black cardstock is probably one of my favorite things. I just think it adds such a bit of punch to a project. Oh, I love the way it looks. Yeah, Carolyn, see, see, she doesn't like that little dustiness on her, that embossing powder dustiness on her table either. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what the camera will pick up, but it is raised, it is glossy and fabulous. Okay, so we have three different techniques there to add dimension to your stamped images. We have that um, tone on tone stamping, so we did our full strength ink, and then we filled it in with that watercolor wash stamp, and once it was stamped off, we did two different colors of green on our pine stamps, and we did some heat embossing. So all of this is gonna come together to make a gorgeous card. So let's get working on the next pieces. All right, I have my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine here, and we are going to die cut some pieces. So let me grab my platform and my plates. Yes, heat embossing is so cool, isn't it, Pam? I love it. And it's always a wow. Like I, no matter how many times I do it, I always love how it ends up looking. I just, oh, I love it. Okay, so I have three different colors of cardstock here. I have Pacific Point, Granny Apple Green, and Daffodil Delight. And I am going to do some die cutting. If I can find my dies, <laughs> there they are. My, does this ever happen to you? Like I have an absolute mess around me, but I try to keep like the camera view really clean looking. So you're not looking at a bunch of mess, but oh my goodness, like everywhere around is just like mayhem. <laughs> Okay, so we are die cutting some of those ornaments that are those standalone dies. So these are the ones that don't have a coordinating image. They're just additional dies in the set that I think look awesome. So I'm excited for these to come out of here so you can see what I mean. Okay, so let me just get them back on my magnet sheet here before I lose them. But look how cool these dies are. So they've got these beautiful outlines. And if you wanted, you could die cut all of the little insides in different colors. Like you could fill it in with different colors, but we're keeping that part kind of simple tonight. We're just using the outlines. Okay, so there's two of them. 
and we need our bell. So cute. All right, let's get all these little pieces rounded up. Okay, so I need to die cut a couple more things. I'm going to go ahead and die cut a label for the front of my card, like something for to ground the whole thing. And I'm using the deckled rectangles and I'm using the fourth largest, so fourth from the outside, okay? And I'm just going to die cut some white, okay? So that'll go there. And you know what? We can die cut our ornaments at the same time. Why not? At least one of them. <laughs> okay, so let's get our ornament on. I'm gonna use a little bit of my positioning tape here. I do have a link for this in the video description because I get asked about it all the time. So if you'd like to purchase that, it is a separate link than my online store. So, but um, you will find it in the video description. Okay, so roll that through. And I just use it to keep my dies in place when I'm die cutting a stamped image. Okay, so there's our deckled rectangle and our beautiful ornament. Oh, love that. Okay. So what's cool is I can use this over and over again. So I don't have to use a new piece every single time I can use it again and again. Okay. So let's do our beautiful polished pink ornament. So I can see that some of my amazing team members are watching tonight. Hello, Ink and Elite. So my team of demonstrators is called the Ink and Elite. We're spread out all over Canada and we have a really great time stamping together. I'm currently planning our next stamping party, which is online on the night of October 21st. So I'm excited if you're watching and you haven't been paying attention to our team Facebook page, make sure that you do because we are doing a team party on the night of October 21st. Okay, so I have this die here and this die comes from the Scary Silhouettes. So really great Halloween set and it's got that perfect little label in there for me. So I'm gonna use it with my Christmas greetings stamp. Okay. So another thing to point out for my team members who are watching, I will post team packets for the decorated with happiness online class either this evening or tomorrow. Okay. So my team members are able to sign up for my online classes for just $15. Um, and they get all the paper supplies to complete the projects as well as access to the video on our team Facebook page. Um, and then they do things like order the bundle or ink pads, whatever they need for the class from themselves using their demonstrator discount. So that's a great perk. If you love my online classes um, and you'd like to get them at a discount, joining my team, my crafty circle of friends is a great way to get those online classes at a deal. So I get asked about that as well. So I just thought I'd point it out. The Stampin' Up! Starter Kit is just a great way to get some crafty products. It's $135. You get to choose $165 in product of your choice. And you will get a minimum of a 20% discount on your future orders as long as you remain a demonstrator and you'll be part of our crafty circle of friends. So if that sounds like something that you would love and we would absolutely love to welcome you, if you're in Canada, you can go to joinnicepeoplestamp.com. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help with anything you wanna know about it. All right, let's put this together, my friends. We've got some pieces here that, I mean, look at it already. It already looks so fun, right? Okay, so first up, I want to add just a beautiful black background, a black mat around my white, just to make it really pop when I put on my card base. So I'm gonna use my multi-purpose liquid glue. When I'm adding something with a very small border, I like to use the liquid glue because it gives you just a minute if you need to uh, move anything around. Okay, so with the seal adhesive, which is what I use most of the time, 
you don't get that wiggle room. When you stick it down, it's stuck down. But with this small little border, I like to kind of make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, there we go. So beautiful, right? And we can put this onto our card base. So let me grab my bone folder. This, I use my, for my card base, I always use the thick basic white. And this is five and a half by eight and a half. And I've scored it at four and a quarter. There we go. So we'll just fold that. Okay. All right. And now we can put this onto our card base. You see how it has that beautiful black in between the two layers of white. I just love how that looks. And it really helps tie in our embossed sentiment that's gonna go on here as well. Okay, so we'll just get that positioned. There we go. Okay, now we can build on to our card. So I've got my die cut deckled rectangle. I always think it's such a funny name, but it makes sense. So let's turn that over and I'm going to add some dimensionals. There we go. There's never too many dimensionals. Just keep adding them. Okay. <laughs> I want my card to be as full of dimension as I can once it arrives. So I don't want the post office squishing it. So I put on a a, a reasonable amount of dimensionals. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. I'm just gonna try and center it best I can. I think that looks pretty good. Relatively straight. We're gonna go with that. I think that looks all right. Okay, now we have all of these beautiful pieces to add all of this pops of color. So why don't we start with our ornaments that are our silhouettes, okay? So let's start with our granny apple green. And you just need a few dots of adhesive to really stick this down. You don't need adhesive all over the whole thing. I actually, I should have used my adhesive sheets. They're the best for adding um, these really intricate die cuts. If you haven't checked out the adhesive sheets, oh my gosh, they are the best. Okay, so granny apple green beautiful ornament. Let's put on our bell. Okay. Just a bit of adhesive there. There we go. So the color combination on this card is granny apple green, daffodil delight, Pacific point, pool party, and polished pink. Isn't that beautiful? I think you're gonna love it when it comes together. And consequently, that is the exact same color palette for my Decorated with Happiness online class. So like I said, if you love today's card, you're gonna love the online class because it's all the same colors, it's the same bundle, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The online class is just, oh, love. Okay. Just, that's all I'm saying. I love it. And you will too. Okay. So now I want to add on my stamped ornaments. So I'll just, I'm going to just keep using my multi-purpose liquid glue. I have it in my hand. Why not? So we'll add our pool party one and our beautiful polished pink. Yeah. I love these colors too, Carolyn. So fun. And the online class just has the very smallest touch, touches of pink. There's very little pink in the class. Um, just a few little touches, which make it fun. Okay, so there we go. Let's add our sentiment, but I want to add with a dimensional. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna have it kind of like this. So I'm gonna put a dimensional on this side and then I'll use some seal adhesive on the other side. So dimensional is going to go here and then I'll put my seal adhesive on the other side. 
All right, so it's gonna go on just like that. So that is our beautiful Christmas card for this evening, featuring a couple of techniques on how you can add dimension to your stamps. So we use tonight the fabulous Decorated with Happiness stamp set, as well as the coordinating dies. Okay, I just love this bundle. It has been on my desk getting lots of use. It is just so, so pretty. So make sure you check out the details for the online class. The link is in the video description, as well as all of the supplies that I've used are linked there as well. So if you would like to purchase anything and you live in Canada, make sure you go to shopnicepeoplestamp.com and you'll find everything that I use this evening. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for watching my YouTube channel. If you like what you saw today, I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your notifications by clicking on the little bell. So when I do a live video or I have a new tutorial uploaded that you can get a notification. And of course, I always love to chat with you in the comments. So make sure you leave me some love. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for crafting with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed tonight's project and I'll be back again soon. Bye.